Good afternoon, Easton. I'm Carrie Rapolo, and this is the Shovel Town Scoop, Easton's news program brought to you by ECAT. So today is Wednesday the 16th, 2015. We have some town hall meetings coming up today. The budget subcommittee meeting uh, is taking place right now at the town hall. They started at one o'clock and they are discussing the topic of the override. Tonight, the library uh, board of directors will be meeting and tomorrow on the 17th, the council on aging is meeting. Last week, the finance committee met on the 9th where they discussed and voted on using the $20,000 gift from Stonehill College to fund the downtown parking study. Although their vote was initiated by a motion from Patrick Goodman, regardless of the outcome, the money is appropriated by the Board of Selectmen ultimately. When the Finance Committee took the vote, one member was in favor of using the funds, four were opposed, and three maintained abstention where they just needed more information. Then on the 10th, the School Committee met and discussed the upcoming school year with a successful opening across the schools. Also discussed was classroom size for the 2015-2016 school year, where the kindergarten class size has decreased over last year. Meanwhile, the average for fifth grade is 24.8 children in the classroom. This raises concern for the teachers um, that are teaching to a larger class size. Another point of concern is why we lost 41 students from the 8th grade to the 9th grade enrollment. Parents have opted for private schools or have simply just moved out of town. Um, so rather than sending their children to all of our aims, th this is a concern for Dr. Keogh. He's calling it the legacy factor, where parents are sending their children to private school for their favorite alma, alma mater. And he hopes that he can have a discussion with those residents to understand their reasoning. Also from the school committee meeting, Dr. Keogh presented his trip to Davos, Switzerland from uh, his June trip where he was invited to participate in and observe a global student leadership summit. To find out when the next school committee meeting is, you can go to the school's website at easton.k12.ma.us and click on school committee. There will be a calendar located there. And then looking ahead for Monday the 21st is the Board of Selectmen meeting and Planning and Zoning Board. Their agendas are to be determined. As always, you can catch most meetings broadcast by Easton Community Access Television. Our website is eastoncat.org. And just a reminder that the special town meeting date is scheduled for November 16th, 2015. The Green Communities Committee has announced the second annual Greenest of Easton Award. The town of Easton wants to hear from you regarding those who are working hard to make a green difference in our town. Please send in your nominations for those with the best sustainability practices. You can be a business, resident, school administrator, teacher, student, or student group. Once the nominations are received, the Green Communities Committee will act as the selection committee, guiding the final decision of the Board of Selectmen. Winners will receive recognition at a Board of Selectmen meeting with a certificate and a commemorative plaque at Town Hall. Nominations are due by Wednesday, September 30th. 2015 at 4 30 p.m. at the town offices. All right, so next up is our school report. Southeastern Regional Technical Institute would like to remind the public that they are hosting an open house Wednesday, September 16th, that is today, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. They are located at 250 Foundry Street, right here in Easton. The event will feature the school's cosmetology, culinary arts, and HVAC programs, along with their adult education classes, which begin September 28th. It will also highlight the school's evening practical nurse part-time program, which starts in January of 2016. And of course, we have our all of our AIM sports schedule that's been scrolling here at the top of the screen. It's been a busy week ahead here for all of the teams and you can uh, view the upcoming dates and times on all of our AIM's website as well. If you'd like more extensive updates on the Tigers, you can check out HockamockSports.com. They do a great job of summing up the leagues and feature highlights of athletes along with the latest standings and schedules. Um, and then how would you like to get involved in the community? Well, the Easton Food Pantry is looking for donations and you can get involved by helping others and head over to Borderland State Park on September 19th and the 20th for a food drive. If you can't make that weekend, you can stop by the Autumn Fest at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church on the 26th. The church is located in Northeastern on Lincoln Street. The food pantry is located at the town hall and accepts all non-perishable items. They can be reached at 508-230-0670. All right, so we've got some information from the police department. We've, uh, let's see, on September 26th, 
From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is the 10th National Prescription Drug Take Back Program. The Easton Police Department is located at 100 Lothrop Street, and they will be collecting and safely discarding prescription drugs from the public. Studies show that many abused prescription drugs are obtained from family and friends, including from the home medicine cabinet. In addition, many Americans do not know how to properly dispose of their unused medicine. They often flush them down the toilet or throw them away, which is a potential safety and health hazard. If you cannot make the above date, there is a prescription drug kiosk available 24-7 at the Easton Police Department. Also, there are two promotions from the Easton Police Department. Keith Boone has been sworn in as Deputy, Deputy Chief, along with Keith Nunez, who was promoted to Lieutenant after Chief Sullivan has vacated the position in July to become the Chief of Easton Police. We have a picture here of uh, Chief Sullivan, Keith Boone, and Keith Nunez. Uh, this was taken at the town hall right when they were sworn in. So congratulations to them. All right, so we have some upcoming events. We're going to switch over from the Oliver Ames sports schedule to current events in a second and then what we have coming up um, is the steadfast music and arts along with the Easton Shoveltown Cultural District presents the Shoveltown 10-minute play festival and that includes comedy drama music eight plays seven directors and 35 cast members ranging in age from 10 to 70 this will be held on September 25th and the 26th at 7 30 p.m. and will be held at the Oaks Ames Memorial Hall on Barrow Street for tickets you can go to oaksamehall.org or you can purchase them at the Steadfast School of Music and Arts, which is located at 50 Oliver Street. We also have some save the date information. We've got the fifth annual DJ Dream Fund Signature Gala. It's going to be held Saturday, October 24th at the Renaissance Boston Waterfront Hotel. Tickets will be available for purchase on their website, which is djdreamfund.org. The DJ Dream Fund is a non-profit 501c3 organization dedicated to the memory of Dan Roy, DJ Henry. Their mission is to share DJ's love of sports by providing the financial resources to enable children and young adults to say yes to healthy lifestyles through athletics, wellness, and arts programs. All right, so another great event that we have planned here in the town is the 42nd annual NRT Harvest and Craft Fair this is going to be held on Sunday, October 4th. Come and support your local artisans and nonprofit organizations. If you are interested in participating in this year's fair, the 2015 Harvest Fair Crafter Vendor information and application is currently available on their website for download, and you can find that at the nrtofeaston.org. It's always a fun event for the whole family. And then, of course, we've got the Children's Museum in Easton is hosting its 11th annual Play for Kids Golf Tournament. That will be held Monday, October 12th. It is a nine-hole tournament scramble format held at the Easton Country Club. You can bring the whole family. It's multi-generational golf. Dads and moms, aunts and uncles, grandparents and kids are invited to participate in this fun-filled day. All right, and then we have the Chamber of Commerce here in Easton is hosting a business breakfast from 7.30 in the morning till 9 a.m. at the Quisit on the Pond. Uh, the chamber members are $10 and uh, non-members are $20. So you can get more information on um, eastonchamber.com and it's gonna be held on September 24th. Their phone number is 508-238-2225. And speaking of the chamber, there's gonna be a new business spotlight program here at ECAT. Easton Community Access Television has partnered with the Chamber on a new cable program that will spotlight a local business each month. The Chamber will kick off their first segment at the Easton Country Club in September and is expected to air in October. If you'd like to sign up, you can do so through the Chamber's office by phone or email. And our very own Kim Pankis is going to be heading that up here at the ECAP studio. And then um, also going on this weekend is Stars Under the Stars. That's September 19th. That's Saturday at 5 p.m. Come join us over here at ECAT at 50 Oliver Street for refreshments. And then head across the street to the Governor Ames Estate at 630 for a, uh, a film festival that's taking place over there. And as a reminder, you can view all of our town hall meetings on the website, eastincat.org. Uh, what is up there currently is the Finance Committee from the 9th and the School Committee from the 10th. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you again next week. Thanks.